This cake is yummy. Can you please share the recipe with me? I love baking. Sure. For baking this cake, I used two eggs, a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, and a cup of butter. If I have six eggs, can I bake a bigger cake? Six eggs are too many. For this cake, follow the proportion. If you want a bigger cake, increase the ingredients in the same proportion. In nature too, you will find substances combined in fixed proportions. For instance, the law of constant proportions and the law of multiple proportions explain how various elements combine to form different compounds. This lesson is about laws of chemical combination and an introduction to an atom. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the law of conservation of mass, describe an experiment to prove the law of conservation of mass, explain the law of constant proportions, explain the law of multiple proportion, list the postulates of Dalton's atom, define an atom, identify the symbols of elements, identify the atomic mass of elements, define a molecule, Identify the atomicity of elements. Define an ion. Define valency. List the rules for writing a formula. And apply a set of rules to write a formula. After a series of experiments, Democritus concluded that if you continue to cut a stone into smaller and smaller pieces, at some point you would reach a piece so tiny that it could no longer be divided. Democritus called these infinite at least small pieces of matter, atomos, meaning indivisible, convinced that matter is made of tiny indivisible particles. Many scientists like Evangelista Torricelli, Daniel Bernoulli, Joseph Priestley, and Antoine Lavoisier started studying the natural world. 
Among them, Joseph Priestley discovered that substances could combine together or break apart to form new substances. Later, Antoine Lavoisier, from his experimental observations, established a law that states that there is no gain or loss of mass when new substances are formed. This can be better explained with the help of an experiment. To do this experiment, take 5 grams of iron filings in a watch glass. Take 5 grams of sulfur in another watch glass. Then, mix the iron filings and the sulfur thoroughly and weigh it. The weight is 10 grams. Now, heat the mixture. It forms a dark molten mass of ferrous sulfide. Weigh it. you'll find the weight to be 10 grams. This shows that the mass is the same, though there is a change in form. Therefore, the law of conservation of mass can be stated as, in any chemical reaction, the total mass of the substance before and after the reaction is the same, although its matter undergoes a physical change. The total mass of reactants is equal to the total mass of products. This led scientists to ponder over the combination of substances and they conducted various experiments. All these observations were accepted and the law of definite proportion was proposed by Proust. Proust, a French chemist, concluded that when 100 grams of water was decomposed, 11 grams of hydrogen and 89 grams of oxygen was obtained. He later purified and analyzed numerous compounds and concluded that every pure substance contains the same elements combined in the same proportions by weight. So, the law of definite proportions can be defined as, in a chemical substance, the elements are always present in definite proportions by mass. Hydrogen and oxygen can combine in different proportions to form different compounds like water, and hydrogen peroxide.
two parts of hydrogen combined with one part of oxygen to form water, and two parts of hydrogen combines with two parts of oxygen to form hydrogen peroxide. This follows the law of multiple proportions. According to this law, when two elements combine to form two or more different compounds, then the weight of one of the elements is constant and the other has a simple ratio. Basing on Proust's observations, John W.